I've been working at Lloyd HQ for, well, I don't know. It's been a long time now. It's this really beautiful building, and everyone who works here is some sort of artist or creative type. We've got architects, artists, photographers, graphic designers, theater groups, and one writer, me. I like it here because I love the building, and it lets me hang out with people like Baird. Baird von Lowe is my downstairs neighbor who makes these great hulking sculptures of glass and stone. I call it Cutting Through Nature, which became the name of his retrospective exhibition in Spain, which I never actually got to see. Downstairs in the studio, he's always cutting stones into slabs and making layers of cut glass. And since Bert's my neighbor and my friend, I get to pop in any time and stick my face real close to whatever he's working on and watch how the glass changes the world. But lately, his work is new. At least it's new to me. So Bert, I didn't know. Now he's working on abstract glass pieces of flowers and peppers and dishes and little pretty angels with fat butts. What happened was, he entered a competition to make a big chandelier for the Provinci House. That's the province house in Ireland. It was down to him and four other sculptors and artists. He told me that making the chandelier had been a dream of his for years. So when he came in second and didn't win, he was pretty disappointed. Second? You mean they, we were like a finalist or something? I was a finalist. I, I, I was the finalist. Uh, I mean, all four of us were finalists. Mm -hmm. but there is only one who takes the uh, commission, and it was not me. Aww. And because he's bared, he Aww. grumbled for a while. But a week later, he got a phone call from the architect. They had another zal, another room, where they wanted another chandelier, and best of all, they wanted him to do it. Bert just couldn't use his old design. He had to start all over again. Baird played around with the different elements of his composition. He told me that it's great to have an idea, but it has to fit, too. They had a lot of uh, different um, blue colors in the, in, the, uh, in the room. And I had to fit in, and it was, that was quite tricky. Bert would look through the sample pieces he and the glass blowers made in the Czech Republic and decide on the right shape, the right color, and the right blue. And then on top of that, one of those uh, branches. Like of the, up here. Yeah. Well, kind yeah, of there. You, you see, you have to, and that you, that you have to compose. Mm. Uh, sometimes it's too much, too close, or whatever, and then you find some space in between. That's what you do, searching for harmony. What are the colors is there? Is that the sample you they see, gave you? You can't, you can't mix that. It's, it's difficult. So, that was too much. It was too, too hard and too, too cobalt, blue. too blunt. I don't know. So you have to figure out what what fits, what doesn't fit, and and it's a whole there's a whole lot of research actually. It's nice. Oh yeah! Wow! What's that? I I left this one out because it was too big. It, uh, it's, it's, it's a big boy. <laughs> <laughs> Got a nice butt, huh? <laughs> Here, I'm going to hold them too, because it's wonderful to hold. It really fits so nice in your hand. Finally, what you get is an abstract image. If you look at the final product, you don't see individual things. You, you, what you see is a, a total, a total globe of uh, uh, shapes and forms which are related to. You know, you have an angel. You have uh, 15 of them around, 
but you don't see them. Uh, you don't see them directly. You can see indirectly. You would say, "Ah, oh, hey, there were some putties in there." Probably have to change them all again. Uh, but it doesn't matter. You know, to, to find a to find a solution for composition as a total. That you that is important. That's better. Mm -hmm. Wow, <laughs> oh, it's marvelous. <laughs>